and welcome to Beginning Yoga. I'm joined in the studio today by Donna and Steve. My name is Lisa Barrett. Today's class is going to concentrate on the hips mostly and we're going to stretch them, strengthen them, and hopefully create some more balance within them. So I hope you'll join us now and roll out your mat. Let's get started. We're going to begin today on our backs. We are going to use a foam block. If you don't have a foam block, uh, a telephone book or a large book, thick book, will do very nicely. So make sure your block or book is close by and then come on down onto your spine. And just briefly draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug, wrap your arms around your shins. And then we're going to release the feet to the floor and set up for bridge pose, but we're going to use the block for support. So make sure it's right next to you. Feet are hip width apart, reaching down and brushing your heels with your fingertips. And then turn the arms so the palms face up for just a moment. So you can relax the shoulders down and open up across the collarbones. Creating a little more space to bring in some deeper breaths. And then exhale completely. At the bottom of your exhale, begin to press into your feet. Lift your hips just enough that you can place your block horizontally under your sacrum. Sacrum is that triangular shape, uh, set of bones at the base of your spine that are fused together. It's a flat spot. So we don't want the block resting on the fleshy part of your buttocks, nor at the low back. That'll hurt. And then turn your arms so the palms face down. And feel free to adjust the block if it, you can't quite find that spot. When you do find it, you'll know, it feels great. And then very slowly draw the left knee into the chest. Your arms are either on the floor or you can actually draw the knee in with your hands. Arms on the floor are a little more stable. And then slowly bring the right knee in as well. So both feet are off the floor. And then when you feel stable enough, extend the right leg up toward the ceiling. Take a deep inhale and a slow exhale, lowering the right leg any amount. So maybe just a few inches, maybe the heel hovers just above the floor. And then inhale the leg all the way back up. Exhale, leg lowers. Inhale up. Feel free to adjust the block if it's uncomfortable. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. And we'll take one more just like that for a total of four. And once the leg reaches back up to the ceiling, go ahead and bend the right knee. Make any adjustments you need and then extend the left leg up. Inhale and exhale lower. And inhale up. And exhale lower. Two more just like that. Smooth, deep breathing. And then bring the leg back up to the ceiling and then bend the left knee. And one at a time, lower the feet down onto the floor. Set them where you had them back into bridge pose. And then very carefully with your inhale, lift the hips, remove the block, set it off to the side and then interlace your fingers underneath you. Press your arms down into the floor, arms are fully extended and your knuckles are reaching for your heels. Keep the inner edges of your feet pressing down so the knees don't splay. Open the chest by drawing the shoulders a little closer together and take a nice deep inhale here. And then release the interlace of the hands, let the shoulders slide out and very slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra. Take your time and then once you're down, take your feet nice and wide, maybe to the edges of the mat, maybe all the way off the mat. Take your arms overhead and just windshield wiper the knees back and forth a few times. Just getting some mobility in the hips. and then coming back to center. 
Walk the feet back onto the mat where they were in bridge pose set up and then sweep your arms down. Draw your right knee in towards the chest and then take the right knee out to the side to swivel the hip open and place the outer edge of your right foot on top of your left thigh. The right knee is drawing forward and the right foot remains flexed to stabilize the ankle and the knee. The right hand will reach through this little window you've created, this figure four with your legs and clasp hands behind your left thigh. Taking a couple breaths here to open up the outer right hip, bending the elbows and drawing the legs a little closer. And just taking one more breath here. And then re-straightening the elbows. Keep the legs. You're just going to cross now the right thigh over the left. Maybe some of you can hook the top of your right foot behind your left calf or ankle. And then shift your hips over to the right side of your mat. Inhale. And as you exhale, rolling over onto your left hip for a nice deep twist. Arms can reach out to the side or you can take the right arm up in a diagonal. Feeling all that length on your right edge of body. And then with an inhale, go ahead and bring yourself back onto your spine. Unfurl the legs. Draw them into the chest just for a moment. And then release the right foot to the floor with knee bent. Taking left knee out to the side to swivel the hip open and set the outer edge of your left foot on top of your right thigh. A gentle pulling of that left knee forward and keeping the left foot flexed. And left hand will reach through, clasping hands behind your right thigh. Starting to open up the outer left hip and the elbows will bend as you draw the legs a little closer. And we'll take one more smooth breath here. And then extending the arms, releasing the interlace, left thigh crosses right thigh, maybe the top of the foot hooks behind the right ankle or calf. Lifting the hips, shift them over to the left side of your mat, inhale and then exhale, lowering the legs into the twist. Let them be very heavy and passive once they come down. Left arm can reach up on a diagonal, getting a little more openness across the sho shoulder area. Taking another breath here. And with your inhale, come all the way back. Unfurl the legs, draw them into the chest, and then a brief little happy baby. So holding on to your shins, your ankles, or maybe reaching up for the outer edges of your feet, relaxing the inner groin muscles, allowing the knees to melt down over the shoulders. And then knees back into the chest. Let's roll over onto our right side and come up to all fours to tabletop. And if you like placing a blanket underneath you, patting the knees, we'll be here for just a little bit. Let's tuck the right toes and extend the right leg straight back. So making sure shoulders are right over wrist creases. Sit into the heel for a moment, get a nice calf stretch. And then lifting the right leg just to parallel with the floor. So a neutral leg, heel is up, toes are down. Drawing the front side of the body up away from the floor, engaging your abdominals, gaze in front of your fingertips, and then maybe find your plumb line and extend the left arm forward. Don't forget to breathe here. And with an inhale, take your left arm out to the side. As you exhale, see if you can sweep the right leg around to the side and forward and balance. And then come all the way back and slowly release. Good, nice balancing. Let's tuck the left toes and extend the left leg back. 
Same thing. Nice calf stretch to begin. And then lifting the leg just to parallel with the floor. Heel up, toes down. Drawing the front side of the body up away from the floor. Gaze in front of the fingertips. And extend the right arm forward. And as you inhale, take the right arm out to the side. As you exhale, see if you can sweep the left leg around to the side. Breathe. And then come all the way back to center. And slowly release. Well done. Let's take a couple dog and cat stretches here. Inhale, arch the spine. And exhale, rounding. Drawing the belly in and up. And one more just like that. Inhale to arch. And exhale to round. And then we're going to make our way to downward facing dog. So if you like, go ahead and remove the blanket off of your mat. And then tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back. Nice, generous bend in the knees, up on the tippy toes. Stretching the spine nice and long. Bend the knees just a little deeper. And then straighten the legs. Trying to point the sitting bones straight up, inhaling here. And as you exhale, draw the belly and start to lower the heels towards the floor. And if the heels come all the way to the floor, Consider lengthening your stance or lifting your toes. With an inhale, let's take the right heel up and back. And as you exhale, step it forward between the hands, rounding the spine a lot. Create some space on the front of the body to step the foot forward. And then lower the back knee down. Bringing both hands to the inside of the front foot. Taking a, a lizard pose lunge. So lift the chest, sink into the front knee, and start to let that left hip dip down towards the floor. Take another breath here. And then come back to framing your front foot. Leave your left hand where it is. With an inhale, take your right arm up for a twist. Try to firm the hips into the midline. Inhale, and exhale the right hand down. Tuck the back toes and step all the way back to downward facing dog. Quietly as you can. And then with an inhale, take the left heel up and back. Exhale, step it all the way forward between the hands and lower the back knee down. Bring your left hand inside the left foot so both hands are inside. And then sink into that front knee. Try to lift your chest. And let that right front hip point dip towards the floor. And taking one more smooth breath here. And then replacing left hand outside of left foot. Let's take our twist. Inhale the left arm up. And then exhale. Sweep it down. Tucking the back toes. Let's make our way all the way back to downward facing dog. Smooth, deep breaths. And then bend the knees and walk the feet forward in between the hands. Inhale, halfway up. Ardha Uttanasana, extend the spine. As you exhale, draw the belly in. Uttanasana, forward folding. And one more time, just like that. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. With your inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, circle them out and up, bring yourself to standing, and exhale, hands down through the heart. Good. Stepping out wide, facing the 
center of your mat. Take your hands to your hips. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, forward folding. Releasing your hands to the floor and then sliding your peace fingers, middle finger, index finger, around your big toe and then wrap your thumb around so you have a firm hold of the big toe. As you inhale, come halfway up, tilt the weight forward onto the toe mounds and then exhale, folding. Let your elbows bend out to the side. And if you need to soften the knees, that's fine. Try to point the sitting bones up. And with your next inhale, come halfway up again. Extend the spine. Exhale, release the big toes. Bring your hands to your hips. Soften knees as you need to, and then inhale. Come all the way up to standing. Go ahead and come back to the front of your mat. And we'll take a half sun salute. Inhale, arms reach out and up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway up to extend. Exhale to fold. Inhale, arms reaching out and up. Firming the hips in. And exhale, hands down through your heart. Good. Stepping out wide again. This time, pointing the toes out at about a 45 degree angle. Start to bend the knees. Take your hands to your hips. And as you bend into the knees, try to keep the knees back over the ankle. So feel a little more weight to the outer edges of your feet. And then take your arms out to the side. And with your exhale, cross the right arm on top and wind up the arms. Now, if you have really bulky, strong shoulders, this may be difficult, and you can just clasp onto your uh, deltoid muscles this way. Otherwise, try to wrap the arms up and then sit a little lower and breathe. Nice. Stay calm, stay with it. And then release the arms out to the side. And with an exhale, go ahead and cross left arm over right. Sit a little deeper if you can, just another breath or two. Good, and with your inhale, come all the way up to standing. Oh, that was so nice. Go ahead and release the arms. Bringing the feet a little closer together now, wider than hip width. Turn the toes out slightly. This is gonna be different for different body types. So we're gonna come into a squat. You might use a blanket if you have trouble getting your heels to come all the way down. Placing your feet in front of the blanket with the heels on the blanket, and then coming down into a squat. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, and then use your outer shoulders to help splay the knees. Try to let your tailbone release down and see if you can lift your heart a little bit more. This can be easy for some and very challenging for others. And then extend your arms out in front of you. Separate the palms, shoulder width apart. With your inhale, you're gonna come all the way up to standing. Try to do it evenly. And exhale, lower all the way down. Good. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, all the way down. Let's take two more just like that. Pressing into the heels, come up. Slowly control it, coming all the way down. And last one. And all the way back down. Good. With your inhale, come all the way back to standing and go ahead and release and set your blanket off to the side. And let's bring the block to the mat. So setting your block to the outside of your left foot. Very important here to feel uh, grounded in the left leg. So really feel the weight in the heel here. 
you're going to cross your right thigh on top of your left and place the toe mound on the block. Try to keep your hips squaring forward, your knees pointing forward. So really bend that left knee a lot. And then take your arms out to the side. Right leg is on top, so left arm will be on top. Wrapping it up or just holding onto your shoulders. And the elbows are reaching forward. The fingers are reaching up. The shoulders are pressing down. And then sit a little deeper in that left leg. Good, this is Garudasana, Eagle Pose. One more breath. And then go ahead and straighten the left knee back up. Carefully set the right foot next to the left and then allow your arms to sweep out to the side. Let the eagle go. Go ahead and move the block over to the other side. So there's a sense of firming in on a lot of these poses and this creates the balance and stability in your hips. So bending the right leg, sinking into the heel, and then crossing the left thigh over the right, toe mounds of the left foot on the block. Use that for balance. And then the arms reach out to the side. Right arm will be on top, wind it up. And then elbows reach forward, fingers reach up, press the shoulders down and then sit a little deeper into that right leg. Eventually, we will do it without the block and just balance on the right foot. But this is perfect for today. Firming the hips in. Last breath. And then with control, start to straighten the right leg. Separate, placing the left foot next to the right and letting your eagle soar. Well done. Go ahead and set the block off to the side and coming back to the front of your mat. With an inhale, sweep your arms out to the side and up. Exhale, forward fully. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, plant your palms, step all the way back to downward facing dog. Deep inhale here, lift the hips a little higher. And with your exhale, go ahead and lower the knees down. Keeping your big toes touching, separate your knees to the width of your mat. And just sit back in a wide leg child's pose. Leave the arms forward, let the forearms relax. Let your forehead come to the floor. Two more breaths. slowly walking your hands in bring yourself all the way to upright and swing your legs out in front of you give them a little shake and then coming into Baddha Konasana so soles of the feet together knees opening wide and the big toe mounds can open like you were opening pages of a book but keep the outer edges of your heels pressing together Sit nice and tall, rolling to the front edges of your sitting bones. Inhale. And as you exhale, come into a forward fold. Try to lengthen your spine. Reach the crown of the head forward and then allow your chest to come closer to your feet. Just a couple more breaths. Relax the outer hips here so the inner thighs can stretch. And with an inhale, go ahead and come all the way back to upright. Take your hands to your outer knees and close them up together. And extend the legs forward. Give them a little shake. Let's go ahead and bend the right knee and then hopping the foot over to the outside of your left leg. Now this is a fine place to stay. If you'd like to move a little deeper, you're gonna release the right buttock, bend the left knee, and place your left foot right outside your right hip. 
Kind of maneuver the feet so that your, the sole of your right foot stays down and that both sitting bones can root. Interlace your fingers at the front of your right shin and draw the leg closer together. Help that lift your spine. And then right hand behind you. Inhale the left arm up. Get some length. And then exhale, twisting to the right and adding the elbow outside of the right knee or thigh. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall. And exhale, twist. Gazing forward. With your inhale, come all the way back around and extend both legs out in front and give them a little shake. And we'll move to the other side. So left knee bends, then hopping the foot across. Staying here is fine or releasing the left buttock and placing your right heel near your outer left hip. Interlacing your fingers and drawing the chest up to meet the inner left knee and then placing the left hand behind you. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left, adding the elbow. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Gazing forward and unwinding all the way back to center. Extend the legs forward, give them a little shake, and then come into a cross-legged position. Sitting nice and tall, placing your hands in front of your heart. Taking a moment here, close the eyes. Reflecting on your practice today and silently giving thanks for all you have, for your beautiful body, your beautiful health. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you'll join us again really soon. Namaste.